Hey guys, I'm back with another video. I'm going to talk to you about this. Do you know way before Christmas, okay? You need to start thinking really, really smart, okay? Like I'm talking about when you want something right before Christmas comes, literally, right? Buy your, uh, your wife the gifts that she fancies or wants. Get it for her. And literally what the kids want, as in like from... What to get from your from mom? You buy her stuff there, but the parents will pay that for you if that makes sense. And then she's like, "Oh, thank you, daughter. Oh, thank you, son. Oh, thank you, whatever it is, you know." And then the next thing is then when it comes closer to Christmas, then and you've seen it all in pavilions, right? I seen it last year in pavilions. It was unreal. Like I hopped on, to, hopped onto the one o two. Right, I was just mad, like literally when I when I was coming home from work at six o'clock, there are nothing but traffic's around that roundabout there. Do you know what I mean? With that one or two stops there to drop off people, you know what I mean? I was just like going, you'd be like there for ten to fifteen minutes waiting. It's like, oh God, do you know what I mean? And they'd be in in the in the rush hour. Do you know what I mean? Like buying stuff. I was like, right, I need to get this present here. Now, I got it. Oh, yes. This is the last one. one. Thank God I got here on time. Jeez, I'm in such a lucky dope that I got this. Oh, God. Oh, and I need to buy, I need to buy an iPhone. I need to buy an iPad. I need to buy shoes from JD's Boards. I need to get something from Elvery's. I need to get, oh, a few couple of cheap things for the Christmas tree for pennies and I need to get all this shenanigans there, right? And you're doing it in like everything is just like crumpled up together, you know what I mean? And you're like, hmm, which card can I spend now? I have my Visa card I could pay or I have my uh, debit card, I have my other credit cards there. You're splashing out all the money there, even though it's like and you're spending a fortune on them because that's when the shops are always, always making more, a buttload of money before Christmas, right? But if you wait after Christmas, right? If you want to buy something that you really, really want, you should say to your your kids, to your grandkids, whatever it is, to your wife, to your husband, and even boyfriend and girlfriend, just say, hey, would it be actually cool if you actually leave it for the January sales? Because it'd be a lot, lot cheaper i know this for myself when i went in there i was saying hmm, i need to get these football boots i need to get this hoodie hoodie right now i just have to get it right now right there's no question about it i have to absolutely get it no question asked you know and then i was saying to myself wait if i ask you actually uh go in after christmas buy what i want there it'd be a hell of a lot cheaper like you could buy say least if you put on at least three, two to three hundred to say on diesel, right? Because I have a diesel card here that I put at least two to three hundred on it already before Christmas. There, I'm going to keep this card for the Christmas, at least, sorry, after Christmas, and then I'm going to splash it on diesel there. Going to update my wardrobe there with a pile of jeans, pile of all the stuff that I want. Do you know what I mean? And then another thing as well that. If you do it at January sales, you get to say, probably to be honest, right? You probably get at least 10 to 15 things all together worth of 200 to 300 quid, a buttload of stuff. You can get like like 10 to 20 things, do you know what I mean? Out of uh, any shop now, not just uh, diesel, do you know what I mean? River Island, Next, Pennies. All that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? Give you like buying a buttload of stuff, you know? And then if you wait after Christmas for even shoes even, because shoes are mad popular these days. You know yourselves, you know what I mean? Air Max this, oh, you know what I mean? You're buying all these, all these white shoes and all those popular brands that are out there, Vans, old school uh, Vans they're called. Everyone wants them there. Once it comes to Christmas time, it's just going to be a hell of a fun of a fortune like the shoes that i got the black adidas um i can't remember the full name but it's in black as it's kind of like in on knitted 
whatever it is. It's not like leather or anything, it's like almost canvas. There, I got those at January sales there. You get two two pairs of shoes there for 60 quid there. Do you know what I mean? Uh, before Christmas, it was costing two shoes there for two to three hundred quid. You know, it's like, oh, popular shoe. Well, well, it is good. And I had those, you know, those um things for Foot Locker. And they have the little tags around the shoe. as like, like, oh, this is the proper one. I have to buy these superstars. Yes, and this one as well. Thank you. And then you put them on your shoes, then ready for Christmas. And you'd be like, oh, these are great. Oh, these are worth this amount of money. Whoa, you got these shoes. Shoes that you're going to sell. How much do those cost? I bet it was like two to three hundred. No. It only cost me 90 quid. What? Why? How? Because it's January sales, you know? You need, you need to think, you know? Like, I know everyone, and same with me, everyone, like, goes and says, oh, popular stuff, I have to buy it right now. Well, if you buy it after Christmas, January sales, any sales that's on in pavilions or anywhere else in the world, right? Go into them stores and buy whatever you want. You can buy a buttload of things there that's worth less money do you know what I mean more so if you buy for the less money that's basically it and another thing right if you put money on your card right to say diesel next whatever ever anything stores right JD Sports Elvery's any stores Game, GameStop Smith's Toy Super Stores all those right if you just get get gift cards right and then keep them up for Christmas, I don't care to be honest if it's like if you buy it bang on January and keep it there for until Christmas time. Do you know what I mean? Like just after Christmas Day. Do you know what I mean? But you still have the money on those cards. You know what I mean? Parents should be doing this as well. You know what I mean? Because they love clothes too. They love fashion. You know? They be buying stuff as well. You know? Forget about those uh, uh, things about parents using the credit cards there. Well, sure, they have to pay it back anyway, you know. But if you have it on gift cards there, the money is basically spent on there. You have the credit on here, then splash it away there. I think you're happily ever after with a pile of clothes, a pile of shoes, a pile of shopping, food shopping, whatever it is. You know what I mean? And then you'd be like chuffed about yourself there. You'd be like... Whoa, I spent this amount of money. Look how much I got out of it. Do you know what I mean? Like, you don't want to be spending, to say, a boatload of money on an Xbox. Xbox One and a PS4. Do you know what I mean? All in one. You'd be like, oh, I just, I just got this here. That's just to say a random number, right? To say, I spent 1000 to uh, to 500 on this Xbox there. Oh, it was brilliant. I had, to, I had to get it, you know? And then it'd be the same thing with the PS4. You know what I mean? That was great value. But like, if you do it in January, January sales or February sales, right? You'd be getting it, be like, whoa, Xbox costs half the price there of 1,500 quid, or it could be even half of uh, 500, 250. Jesus, that's very good. But, but that's because the new Xbox is coming out. But still though, you know what I mean? Be like, Jesus, I'm buying this right now. You buy it there, it's like, geez, I, I spent a fortune on this and you got it for cheaper, geez, you actually are fucking thinking in your head. I absolutely am, you know? And then if you do what I say in this video, then you'll be chuffed about it, even though it could be, just say, another year or whatever it is, and especially with people that are doing mi minimum wage jobs, should be actually thinking about, wait, I need to update my wardrobe and stuff right now so wh which way should i do this wait i'll tell you this one right now in this video also right you need to actually get go into pavilions or blanchard town whatever it is right and think to yourself before you start yapping on about oh you get this and you get that uh, right just calm the hell down first okay what do you actually need in diesel Right, so you just make out a little list and you get these shoes and you get a top, a hoodie, a little coat for myself. So you just like, right, okay, this total costs this much. So to say 200 there and then to say, okay, in JD Sports, shoes cost 100, 100, 100, 100. So if I buy two to three shoes, that's 300 quid on there. So if I wait, general sales would be a hell of a lot cheaper. So I'll splash... 
400 onto there and then just say next I spend two to three hundred or even less than that, do you know what I mean? Be four hundred in next, Elvery's there and you get by Dublin Tops and all these magnificent stuff. Okay, that's there and what whatever it is, even makeup, right? You'd be like, okay, how much makeup do I need? I need eyeliner, I need shadow, I need all this all this stuff here. So the grand total comes to just say a random number I'm gonna say Hmm, just a uh, thousand euro. So if you start, okay, right, a thousand euro. So that means then I need to start putting it bit by bit by bit away for a year. And just to let you know that you're not paying rent at home, okay, because you're either in school or in college. Do you know what I mean? Or doing your master's or doing your PhD. All right? So literally, you'd be thinking, hmm. Wait, I'm still in college, I'm still in, in the school routines, so I can actually afford this here, and I'm kind of like almost in my full-time job in this, just say, in um, in JD Sports, working away, or in any bar or pub, do you know what I mean, full-time nearly, at the weekends, you know, and I can totally, totally uh, afford this in a year's time. So if you started in January, until literally to February, or literally in the middle of January, January sales are still on, then buy, it's like, wait a second, I have all these cards, all this money there on this card, so now I'm going to spend, spend, spend there, and you'd be delighted, you'd be feckin' chuffed with yourself, so, Jesus, this is good planning, you know, and then you'd be delighted with yourself, like, I would be too, you know what I mean, like, if I had a butt racket full of money, I'd be getting a new wardrobe right now, do you know what I mean, and even buying a lease, a car or a property if I had that buttload of money. You know what I mean? It's true. You know what I mean? A decent, comfortable car that I, I would be able to actually drive around. Do you know what I mean? Instead of driving your parents' car. You know what I mean? I know the tax could be low and, I mean, high or low, whatever it is. But still, your own car there, you appreciate it there. It's a hell of a lot different. If you, if you save up your money earlier, the better. And then... You'd be fantastic and you'd be chuffed with yourself. Okay? So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and get the win out there. Thanks very much.